I think that classic flap is so ridiculously overpriced that it's just like ridiculous. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I feel like I've done so many vlogs in the past three months and not enough like kind of sit down videos where I can really talk to you guys and I don't know like sharing some opinions with you like telling you what I've been loving what I kind of find interesting just sharing opinions in general it's just something that I missed okay what about you? I'm not so sure you guys missed it because I did ask you what kind of videos you prefer the most and most answers were like vlogs so nobody missed my sit-down videos. Anyway, today's video is going to be about your and my favorite topic, handbags. Yes, we love handbags, don't we? And in case you're new to the channel and you also love handbags, I think you should totally, totally, totally sign up to this community because we are like a very girl's girl kind of community full of like women that love, and men actually, I have some really incredible guy followers, so I don't want to make them feel excluded. Okay, let's do this again. Basically, we are a people-loving community, a community of incredible humans that also happen to like beautiful and often expensive things. But, you know, that's just c'est la vie. In today's video, I wanted to discuss with you some of my most worn bags. I feel like I have maybe 10 here when it comes to summer and the bags that at the moment I'm packing mostly with me every time I go somewhere. So a lot of these you have already seen. There's a bit of Hermes, Prada, Loewe, Jimmy Choo, Chanel, Gucci. So let's just get straight into it. Do you agree? The first bag is the bag that I was wearing today. So I'm just gonna go in it. It's actually also, I think the latest addition to my collection. It's an Hermes Kelly 25 in noir or black with yellow gold hardware. It's pretty busy inside. So I actually wanted to show you what I've got. I wore this outfit today. Let me show it to you. I'll link it below. We got Valentino shorts, uh, Kate, like bustier style top. We got a Miu Miu choker necklace and I wore this bag, you know. I also have my Olilunga uh, green malachite snake ring as well as a pinky Cartier uh, love fave ring. But inside of here I have some gift cards that I have not spent and I need to get some things for home. So I wanted to get them, but then I, it got so hot in Milan that I ended up actually never even, you know. I got my wallet, which is, I, I think I already need a new one. I mean, honestly, it's a little Hermes wallet. I love it very much, but yep. I have 50 euros, which I always tend to have because sometimes in Milan you really need a taxi, you cannot get it and the taxi doesn't want to take hard and whatever you never know i have airpods which i never put properly back in like when i'm done with something listening something i just i don't put the freaking airpods back in the case i just throw them in my pocket in my bag i don't know why i do that but that's you know i have a dior lip gloss this is your addict stella gloss 640 i'll link it below i have my favorite hermes lip balm beautiful i have a pair of sunglasses these are by Miu Miu. love them one of my favorites i have Saint Laurent receipt, I bought a pair of sunglasses that I definitely do not need. I have a shoulder strap, which I'm not wearing at the moment. A hair tie, and this has turned into what's in my bag video. I promise it's not gonna be like that. My keys, a hair tie, and the cloche. So that is it. And with that, I can tell you that this is an absolute perfect everyday bag i love it so much i only got it like last week and i already wore it four times because i absolutely love it it's a perfect bag for evening or for day talking about evening my next favorite bag that i love 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 wearing lately is this saint laurent cigarette box now every time i wear this bag every single time i get millions of questions it's a bit ironic because i don't smoke and one of my favorite bags is a cigarette box bag it's very tiny. So in here, it fits basically nothing. Like look how small is this space. I put my card, my ID. I often put a lip gloss or lipstick, but this doesn't fit because it's too thick when the cards are in there, I think. So I put my Chanel lipstick and that's it. I have to hold my phone in my hand, but it's fine because this is so chic, so chic. So it has 
a logo on the sides and these little tassels. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it's so stunning. And for some reason, I don't know if this is the case, but I feel very liberated when I have a tiny little bag on. It's kind of like strange that I feel like my hands are free. I'm not lugging anything around. I feel really liberated. That's, that's, that's the true meaning of the word. I very often then would also put my phone in my boyfriend's jacket pocket or jeans pocket and just go around with this crossbody. It's so crazy because I love handbags so much, but at the same time, there's some kind of feeling of power that a tiny little bag gives you. I don't know what it is. Next up is a bag that I've been raving about ever since it came out. I mean, it's just, it doesn't look like a lot, but when you look at it from the bottom, it's the Fendigraphy bag. I absolutely love this bag because it's so understated like this. It looks so cool. It's like a logo-free bag, you know? It's so, it has that kind of like vintage vibe. It fits a perfect amount of everything. I had this bag first in September, in February, 2022, before it even hit the stores as a sample uh, that Fendi kindly lent me to shoot and wear throughout fashion week. And Honestly, like, you know we get dressed for events, like in terms of looks. So I prepare all of my Fashion Week looks before the Fashion Week starts. I have, for example, if I'm going to Prada event, I have my Prada look. If I'm going to Gucci event, I have my Gucci look. If I'm going to whatever it is, I have my looks, right? And I always happened to be grabbing this bag in those like not uh, branded events and looks. I always wanted this bag just because it was such a perfection for events, you know? It's just so, so, so perfect. So I really, really love this bag. I know it comes in some beautiful colors and in multicolor. And I think everything since Kim Jones has joined the house, I think like everything is so perfect. I really, really, really love the brand. So Fendigraphy, love it and i love it for both summer and winter so if you're like for example looking into buying a designer bag but perhaps you don't want to get one just for summer you want one that will last you and you will be able to wear throughout winter you should get or think about fendigraphy whereas my next bag is definitely only for summer and i'm talking about my now like three four years old chanel bag this is from one of carl's last chanel collections and it's this like sort of plastic chanel bag with sand inside can you see the sand how do i show you the sand here we go it's full of sand this bag basically and i remember so well it came in two different uh, variations with and without the pearls and i just wanted it with pearls or nothing for me this bag without pearls just was like, nope, thanks. I don't want it without pearls because without pearls is this, okay? And for me, like the pearls add so much. I don't know why. It even has like a back pocket, which feels like it's full of sand, but it's not. And that's it. Inside is basically like a classic flap made of plastic filled with sand. It's a genius, genius way from House of Chanel to make money <laughs> because literally not even leather. I mean, the outer corners are leather, but people like me, Think that this is one of their favorite bags in the world and it really is i love every time chanel does the sort of like the plastic summer collection for me it's very special i always keep this shaper inside it's one of the rare bags that i actually have something inside to keep the shape which is strange considering that you know i like to always say that People are to be loved and things are to be used, not the other way around. But so I always like to use my things and just like, you know, wear them and tear them. But for some reason, this bag, I really want to keep the perfect shape for forever. And because it's plastic, you never know if that will really be the case, you know? I wore it many times. I remember having the kind of like Chanel by the Witch Beach which chanel by the beach few pieces from the collection like ready to wear pieces it was about the time that i started getting into chanel ready to wear and i just remember so clearly shooting it and just you know i don't know for me it's a very empowering time in my career and that this bag represents a lot a lot to me so it's a very summer bag it's probably one of the only summer summer only summer bags in this video but it's perfect for it so there's another bag that is just very very summer it is this new prada 
beach tote and this one is sort of like in a limey limey green color and it's a different shape to the last year's one now i just did my summer essentials uh, video which includes some of the beach bags if you haven't seen it go and watch it after you finish watching this one but i wanted to show you this tote because i got it after that video so in the last video i showed you the prada beach tote which is completely different shape and in white color but i really loved it last summer was my most worn and i think this will be my most worn beach bag um, because i really love it i think it's just wonderful i love the color i know it comes in many different colors i love this color though and i love that it's just i don't know it's the way it's made the size the fit like it's just prada never does a mistake with these things like i really think whatever they do they got it we got next up Prada symbol bag and it's called symbol because right the triangle the Prada triangle is the symbol and as you can see it's full of it the print is in that shape first of all I love the Galeria style of the bag this one the tiny little one comes also with the shoulder strap that you can attach I believe inside yeah so you attach it you wear it as like with the shoulder strap it's so cute but the reason why I'm showing, show, showing you showing you this bag is also because it comes in like really so many different shapes. I'll insert some pictures as I'm talking about it so you guys can see. It's, it comes in like totes and kind of narrow totes and large travel totes. And I, I really, really love the print. I think it's so cute. I was, I was thinking of like wearing it with this outfit today, but then it, it didn't fit as much as I wanted it to fit. But I think it's so perfect and it's really beautiful. It also comes in like a little kind of brownish symbol color and it's not called triangle because there's another bag which is Prada triangle you know the just the triangle shape one so i really really like this i like it so much more than i even thought i would the one bag that i would want to include in this video though but i unfortunately don't have anymore because it got stolen is the Prada Clio i love Prada Clio i honestly I think it's one of my absolute favorite and probably most worn bags I ever had. I had it in white and I'm thinking of repurchasing it in maybe like a large black size. I think it could be very cool. Really, really, really love that bag. A bag that's not gonna be a surprise to you is a Gucci Blondie. I love this bag because it's just so vintage looking. Like starting with the chain, it also has a shoulder strap, like a leather shoulder strap, which you can then wear the bag a bit more crossbody, but it's not inside. It's probably on my shelf yeah i love this bag so much now it comes in so many beautiful colors i love the other one that i love besides the black i think black is my favorite vibe of course but the other one that i really like is a uh, brown suede it's so like it has this like true gucci a bit of like tom ford era vintage vibe and for me i think it's because i've spoken about this before in my gucci let's talk about gucci bags video i, I think it's because it reminds me of the time that I dreamt about the brand itself and I was dreaming about having these things but I was still a student, I was not really buying luxury as much as dreaming about it <laughs> so it just comes to me from that nostalgic time of dreaming about luxury and now having it feels really special, it feels like a milestone, it feels like something to be celebrated so it's been like 10 years, you know, since those times. But for me, Gucci Blondie has a very, very special place in my heart. So love it very much. Let's not forget a Loewe puzzle bag. Why? Because I think it's a perfect summer bag. Now I wore this one and I styled it on my TikTok quite a few times. I really love this bag. It's so easy to pack. So if you just like pack it like this, it's fine. You know what I mean? Like it does not lose the shape. It's literally a canvas bag. It does not, there's nothing. This little piece of leather does not get like messed up so it's so easy and you can just like flat put it like this look at this it's a designer bag who would have thought plus i love the love anagram i guess it's like not something that everybody's gonna love i love it and i think it's such a cool girl bag like denim shorts white t-shirt this bag and sandals and you good you know really 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 cute it's such a beautiful piece like i said i styled it on my tiktok if you do not follow me on tiktok you should check it out it's just tamara and i really really love it so what do you guys think a big big trend for spring summer 22 are crystals right sparkle and who would not love a jimmy choo bonbon like i love a jimmy choo bonbon for an evening bag but this one that is in ombre crystal is another level now i have few of these bonbons like in leather and satin etc 
I think this one is just the most special one because it's built of multiple different sized crystals. And when you carry this bag in the evenings, like it just summer nights, any kind of dress you want in this bag. And you just, you know, you glow in the dark, basically. It's so beautiful. It's that evening piece also that doesn't lose the shape because it doesn't really have any kind of firm corners. So you cannot get it scratched. Honestly, these crystals have been so steady and it also has a shoulder strap. Oops, also has a shoulder strap. So here we go. I love it. I even wrote a blog post about kind of like sparkly, favorite sparkly pieces on my blog. You can check it out. And I mentioned this bag because I think it's a very, very special thing. If you love sparkly things, you should 100% check Jimmy Choo because their Seida crystallized pumps are you gonna flip they're just so good they're so good we have two more like steady contenders that i really really wanted to show we have a chanel uh, mini flap with a handle on top and i love this one especially because of the color you'll probably notice that even though i have like two or three classic flaps in my current uh, chanel collection i don't actually wear them that much perhaps the mint green one i do but i don't really wear them that much just because i think that classic flap is so ridiculously overpriced that it's just like ridiculous and i've spoken about it many times i love chanel it's clear but i think that this is such a great price for chanel it's like uh, that's my opinion if you would like to get a chanel bag go and get like a mini flap with top handle i think this bag is so beautiful and it's still pretty perfect for day and night plus it's not like a very basic bag you know look at this purple color how beautiful it has the mona lisa smile bucket at the back i wore it a fair share of times and it's perfect so i really love it when i was contemplating it there was also like an ombre one that was beautiful but i ended up getting this lilac one and honestly it's the only purple bag i think i own i think and i really love it such a beautiful piece beautiful beautiful summer bag but i wear it in winter though i wear it in winter mainly when we go to some places however i did what like my friend sandra has the same bag she actually influenced me to get it and she did wear it when we had this cocktail date in december together in london so you know last but definitely not the least is something that i in my heart still consider my ultimate dream hermes bag you'll probably know which one it is it is my kelly 25 in jean poussin this bag guys it was my dream bag until I got it and I got it in December. I remember shopping at Hermes and it was Michael Koss who offered it to me because I was trying to get it. I, it was my dream bag. I saw it like basically a week after my apartment got robbed. I saw it on someone else in Cannes in just Birkin 25. And I remember telling my boyfriend, I remember this exact yellow color. And then I went to Hermes store, I looked at the special order colors, I picked the color that it was, I knew exactly, I'm so good at remembering exact colors. And remember, like imagine how many different Hermes colors there are. I remembered it immediately and I knew I wanted it to be with yellow gold. And I patiently waited for basically six months until I got it. And it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite favorite bags it holds such a special like meaning because it was kind of like i i it was kind of like a testimony for me like that i and like was very strong in a particularly difficult time for me and i just really love it i love it for summers i love this color i think i also love it i will love it in winter but it's more of a summer bag so so stunning stunning and with that beauty i will end my favorite and most worn summer bags of this summer i think who knows the summer's long many things can happen until then i would include also at least one mini kelly i think my gold one the blue broom is also stunning though my green one is also anyway let's just leave it at this okay because otherwise i have to include pretty much all of my bags which one from this section or selection was your favorite bag let me know thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you again bye guys